As always, 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun in the washing machine until it's just damp. I've already flipped this shirt inside out and I'm going to add an oval over here somewhere. Let's see if I can do this freehand. I think it's a little low. Let's go a little higher. It's more of a parabola if you extend that out, isn't it? Hmm. Let's switch over to doing circles. I know I can do circles. All right, if you need to make a circle, take some sinew or string or whatever. Tie knot onto the end here. Then go ahead and wherever you want, I need the first one to fit on it like this. Or if you want the center to be, place your finger and then you can simply do that and you create a half circle. I mean, if you want to circle, then do it here and work your way around. Really simple. And then if you want additionals, you can just mark it out. And say you want them three inches apart. And then you just work your way down, doing the circles all the way across. I'm probably going to start on one of these instead of the smallest, simply because it's easier to start that way for me. And I might tuck that a little. You can use rubber bands or um, sinew for this. If you use sinew, you need to make sure you're not tying it really tight. Um, I'm going to do a single band here simply to hold this in place. I may or may not do the rest in the rubber band or sinew. really depends kind of how I feel on the rest of this. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of these and we'll just speed through it on the video.
Alright, so after that's done, I'm going to mark off. Oh, need a different color. I'm going to mark off new three inch lines. All right, off to die. All right, for this, I'm going with cerulean blue, fire red, and power berry. All right, I'll let this melt through and then decide what we're gonna do on the backside. It's been about 24 hours, so let's do the washout. All right. Um, here's the results. I'll go throw that in the washing machine. And here's the finished result. Just that. A little bit on the bottom. Here's the back side. Other than this little bit right here, and this tiny little bit right here, I really like the results. I'm not saying I don't like it overall because of those, but it would have been nice if that would have filled in a little bit more because of the whole white being slightly out of place in this. That little bit of yellow too. That looks good, but that's just a little too much. So could this have been done differently as far as the dye process? Yes, it could have been the, the regular um, peacock accordion going up and then you could have just applied the dye like this. You know, you've got the red here, the red here, the red here, the red here, red here. And you've got your purples and your blues. And you could have done it really, really small, intricate bits and then slowly expanded out. But I think the, the sawtooth pattern that I used actually worked pretty well worked out really well. It was a lot easier than doing small little strips, at least I think so. And the result is a pleasing arrangement of colors on here. Um, can't really go wrong with reds, blues, and violets. It all works together. So what do you think? Let me know below. 
And until next time, thanks for watching.